The owner had messaged me that, that her dog had been run over by a vehicle. His front leg, the emergency vet, said it needed to be amputated. And the back leg on the opposite side was severely damaged as well, but they would try to save it. Well, she called me, messaged me, and said, I will take any advice. So naturally I said, well, I can offer you my Rife machine. And she said, what is Rife? And so I proceeded to explain to her. She didn't really understand, but she said, I'm coming because I want to save my dog's leg. Well, she came um, about the third day after the injury, and we did our first plasma and the wrist laser. We used both of those together, and she gave me his nails. I started running immediately. I started running programs on him. I just put it up and down its leg. The first time, I was mostly on the back leg because it had two drainage ports, and the swelling was so severe we knew we needed to get the swelling down to save that leg. And the other leg was bandaged, so um, I held it close to the shoulder where it wasn't bandaged. And even when she, she would have to take the dog to the vet three times a week. Well, she came once a week for three weeks, and all the rest of the time was just with the remote. And every time she went to the vet, each time the vet was just completely amazed wow, this is healing much better than I imagined, wow. After, at first the vet would say, this just will have to be amputated, you should have amputated. It will have, if the leg survives, it will need multiple skin grafts, which requires multiple surgeries. And she still said, no, I, I want to do all I can to save his leg. And so at about four weeks, the vet said, why? Well, I give it hope. At six weeks, she sent me a video of the dog using his leg running up and down the stairs and just in complete astonishment. And that was a real exciting video. And then at eight weeks, the vet released the dog and said he did not have to come back. When the accident happened, just really the front leg, most all the skin was gone on three-fourths of its leg. At the eight week part, there was a part that was still open. The skin had grown over, and they didn't even know if the ligaments and tendons would actually reattach, but they did. It would just attach beautifully. And at eight weeks, the vet said, Well, I release you, but that skin will never grow up. And one of his toes, the toenail and the toenail, and the toe was gone. But at nine weeks, the toenail grew back. And then the skin, over a few more weeks, the skin had grown over. Programs for that one. Tendon repair, tissue healing and regeneration, wound healing, accelerated injury healing. And then I did some more programs to stimulate ligament healing and nerves. Some of the weeks where it looked like it was getting infected, but the vet said it could be getting infected or it could be a sign of healing, but she expressed streptococcus or staph, so I ran those programs. There's one combination, streptococcus and staphylococci. When he was in severe pain, I did run Arnica MW, and then on another generator, I did the detox program, so I actually ran two generators on the dog.